the kind of uh, multi-vendor model that we did, uh, which is very, very different from any other part of the world. Uh, the kind of cost, the kind of uh, time frame that we launched the system was a big achievement by itself. Then the next big one I would talk about is the rural launch, where we started measuring what India watches. And uh, later, uh, the way we are now, what we have initiated, the whole digital management, uh, measurement process, is the other big one that we will do. And in between, I think the Bark Tam uh, JV that we have uh, embarked upon. So these are the, I think, in my view, the last one year, the major landmarks. First big one was the, because we were using a much superior technology, the kind of fidelity of the data that it threw up, you know, and throw, uh, th threw up. And uh, the results would ev effectively uh, represent for every every intervention that a broadcaster might have done, whether it be on a distribution or a content level, or even anything, any external stimuli that comes into the system, for example, uh, floods or power cuts or any distribution changes, all that. So which, uh, because it was new and it's a new system, there was a lot of uh, uh, people were not getting it. We were also trying, there was a lot of communication that was required to actually speak to them, educate them about the fidelity of the system. Lots, 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 lots from us. I think the first big one is this Bark Tam uh, JV the, to get it operational. We are at this point of time doing a lot of stuff to make it get going. The second big one would be a couple of smaller projects like this Val ID and the uh, split beams. And the next big one would be digital measurement and cross-platform cross ratings, along with the fact that we have to keep on increasing the sample size.